on red and blue. Let's start the match in three, two, one, go. And Pulse One charges forward, drops their first cone. Now looking to pull from the human loading zone. Unfortunately, they are just slightly off. And so all of those shots are not making their mark. With 25 seconds left on the clock, WPI also has a mobile goal with two cones on top, but they have not yet scored it. They appear to be stuck with that mobile goal in place. So the Red Alliance managing to score in that 10-point zone may be the only scoring activity there. And looks like we're going to run out the clock in the autonomous period. And Red Alliance will take the autonomous bonus. Drivers ready in three, two, one, go. Pulse one now once again back in action looking for that second mobile goal. WPI trying to disengage that mobile goal appears to be jammed inside their robot. And that was why they were unable to drop it off. But they managed to shake it off and deposit it into the 20 point zone. With 50 seconds remaining on the clock, WPI Worcester is going for their second mobile goal. Let's see if they're more successful at scoring that one. They are. They drop it off in the 10-point zone. Now going for one more with 35 seconds left on the clock. Not at all concerned with the cones on the field. They're specifically going after those mobile goals. One left on the field. And it looks like they're going to pick that up and also deposit it into the 10-point zone. So with 20 seconds left on the clock, Pult 1 has their second goal in the 10-point zone, looking for their third. And WPI dropping from up high, scoring two cones on their mobile goal. And with seven seconds left, can they score it? Oh, looks like it's stuck once again. They're going to have to shake it off, but not enough time to do so.